Hey guys, it's Vaughn and I'm excited today because I'm actually going to be doing a review. I haven't done a review video in a really long time and actually I don't typically do review videos. I pretty much just show you guys tutorials, I explain the products that I use and I'll let you guys kind of decide whether or not um, you like the product or if you want to try it or not. But today I'm actually going to do a legit review. I've actually included a short tutorial on how to get this hairstyle that I'm wearing today. Um, and this hairstyle is cool because it's not anything special, right? It's just a, like a side um, a flat twist. The thing that makes this hairstyle cool and the reason that I'm rocking it today is because I am officially a hat lady. I love hats. I've been buying hats like nonstop and I've been wearing them like every other day. I'm just like all about hats these days. I think it's a paternal thing because my father's mom was like big on hats. She collected a lot of hats and I think I am going down that road. So um, I love hats and I love figuring out ways to style my hair which can fit under the hat. And usually I can do pretty well with my twist outs, but every now and then you want to try something a little bit different. You don't always want your hair exposed underneath your hat. So this is just a hairstyle that is um, very appropriate for putting a hat, a hat on top, especially a hat small like this guy. So the product that I'm reviewing today is the Coco Amo Leave-In Conditioner product. The one that I'm using is called the Love version. And I was really excited to use this conditioner because it's made with coconut oil. And I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I really, really love coconut oil. For me, it's one of those oils that um, detangles hair. It really makes it easy to manage the kinky hair once you've applied it. I also like it because it smells fantastic. It's a natural ingredient. It really makes the hair soft and manageable. So it's one of those oils where you don't need this fancy brand. You can get the, the version at like your local dollar store and it's gonna work just the same because it's just a really good oil. I also love coconuts. So I was really excited to try the Coco Amo products. I had heard a lot about them and I just wanted to give them a try and let you guys know what I thought. I like to do really easy styles for protective styling um, in the cold weather or dry weather. And usually all you need is a comb, a brush, some gel, a leave-in conditioner, and some bobby pins. So for this hairstyle, all I'm gonna do is flat twist the hair in two different directions. So one flat twist is gonna go across the front and then the second flat twist is gonna go diagonal across the back. The two twists are going to be twisted all the way to the end and then you're just gonna roll and tuck and bobby pin the hair right into the back where the nape of your neck is. Now this kind of hairstyle you can choose to leave it as is or you can do like me and turn it into a hat hairstyle. So what I like about this hairstyle is that it fits my lovely little fun hat here. Um, it just fits right on just like this. So it just goes right on and then the the bulk of the hair around is actually what's going to keep the hat in place because usually this kind of hat would just like fall right off but because I have the twist, the um, flat twist going around also in the back I just kind of tuck that under the hat and it's going to create some tension to actually keep the hat in place. And then I thought it was really cute to add a little earring kind of like have that asymmetrical look since we've kind of already started with the asymmetrical by having the twist on only one side. So I really like to add a little um, accessory um, just to further complement the hairstyle. I love so the first thing that I'd like to say about this product is that it smells fantastic. I mean, obviously it's made with coconut. It smells absolutely great. It doesn't smell like um, a fictitious coconut smell, if that makes sense. It actually does smell like a real coconut. And I know this because I use coconut oil a lot and um, the smell is very similar. It's also a very loose, slippery, consistency okay so it's very good for detangling and it's good for smoothing down the hair follicles and making all the hairs look really sleek it really will give you that sort of result so I really like how smooth and slick it is it's a little bit messy to handle because it's so loose so you need to be careful when you're applying this product to your hair that you don't make a mess all over the place now this is a leave-in conditioner but it can be applied as a rinse out conditioner as well so I, I use it in today's video as a leave-in conditioner um, and I would probably continue to use it as such. But if you are the type of person you don't like a lot of products in your hair, or maybe you have the intention to layer a bunch of products and you don't necessarily want to keep this one in, then you can go ahead and rinse it out. But for me, I love leave-in conditioners. I usually start all of my hairstyles with it. Whether I'm blow drying my hair, doing a twist out, a braid out, I usually start with a leave-in conditioner of some sort. I also love that you can use this product on wet or dry hair. So in, actually in today's video I show you what it looks like on my wet hair texture and then what it looks like on my hair dry. I usually start my heated styles with leave-in conditioners because usually they have pretty much what you need for a heat protectant. It's usually the same kind of ingredients, the same kind of idea. What I like to look for in a leave-in before I use it to heat style is water as an ingredient. Also if the product contains some kind of protein or smoothing agent like a shea butter or something like that 
this product contains both. <laughs> So the Coco Amo Love Leave-In Conditioner promises to restore hair to its natural silky texture, smooths out frizz, holds curls, and, and protects against extreme temperature. It's supposed to improve the overall quality and health of your hair. I like to read you guys the promises of the product so that we can kind of go through those accusations and determine whether or not it works for me, and then you can do the same. So this is what I like to do about products. I like to say, okay, I'll judge it on what it promises to do, not on what I expect it to do. So I did feel as though this product was very smoothing on my hair. I mean, it was obvious when it when I put the product on my wet hair, it smoothed it right out. It was very silky looking and it actually helped my curls to kind of chunk together and become more defined. I would definitely say that you could use a product like this for like a wash and go style where you kind of like go out with your hair kind of damp. Because it is winter and it's really cold here in Chicago, I didn't want to go out with my hair wet. So my thing would be to style it and give it the wash and go look, but still having dry hair. So how I would normally achieve that is either style the hair wet, let it get curly, and then blow dry it or diffuse it, or simply blow dry the hair first and then apply a product like this and allow the curls to kind of happen on the already dry hair. That'll help it to fully dry a lot quicker and you'll still get those elongated curls and you don't have to worry about going out with damp hair. So I'll let you guys visit the website and go through all the ingredients and what have you. I will not cover that in this video, but what I will say is that if you enjoyed this review and this is a product that you want to try, you are in luck because I was able to get the owners to offer a discount code for you guys. You will save 10% on anything you buy from the store online using the discount code LOVEVM. I'm actually running a contest right now for these awesome products on my social media platforms outside of YouTube. So if you do happen to mosey on over to my Facebook page or my Instagram page, I've linked both of the pages below, you have two ways you can win. So make sure that you enter both to increase your chances and just read the directions on the picture that I post on and you'll see what you need to do. But it's really easy. This contest is going to end on Friday, January 9th. So we'll go ahead and contact the winner at that time and then you're going to win your very own leave-in conditioner. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>